Hey, this is Mr. Raiden from MrRaiden.com. We're going to be going through the 2021 AP Chemistry Free Response question number five. So let's get to it. Uh, this is an electrochemistry problem. And uh, electrochemistry, a lot of teachers will go right by electrochemistry. Uh, my students love electrochemistry. I think electrochemistry is one of the easier topics there is. And you can see this is a non-favorable electrochemistry uh, why? Because you can see we have a power source right here, which means the delta G is going to be positive. It is non, not favorable. It's not favorable. And if the delta G is positive, then you know the E is going to become a negative number. The E is going to become a negative number, which means this reaction right here, this is the reaction that will be flipped because you're going to have a negative because we're supplying it with a power source, a battery. And so when we flip this guy, we know the one that we flip is the oxidation or this is the anode. And they told us the chlorine gas is the anode. And you can see which means the one that we didn't flip, the one that we kept the same because these are all reduction half reactions. This is the one that's reduced, which means this is a cathode and you can see magnesium is at the cathode. And so what direction will the electrons flow? The electrons always flow from anode to cathode, from anode to cathode. And that was A, draw an, eye, uh, an arrow on the diagram to show the, the direction of the electron flow. It always goes from anode to cathode. And let's think about what's happening here. The magnesium is gaining electrons. It's reduction. It's gaining electrons. So those electrons are going to the magnesium. It's gaining it. And you can see we're making more and more and more solid magnesium. Uh, or sorry, more and more and more liquid magnesium on that. And we're going to be uh, also making chlorine gas. So it says, would an applied voltage of 2 volts be sufficient? Well, when we flip this reaction, we have negative 2.37 volts from the magnesium half reaction, and we have negative 1.36 volts from that half reaction, which means the E for this reaction ends up be becoming negative 3.73 volts. Is 2 volts enough voltage in order to get this occur? No, it is not, is it? And so what's happening here is the magnesium positive 2 plus the two chlorides is making magnesium plus uh, chlorine gas. And so this ends up becoming negative 3.73. And it is no. We need, we need at least negative 3.73 volts of electricity in order to get this reaction to actually work. And then the last part of the, the, the problem, which a lot of students I'm sure had really, really huge difficulty with, um, I try to make it a point with my classes to go through these types of electrochemistry problems. I have some questions like this on mystery.com uh, if you want to take a look at. So we have, we know our current, our I is 5.00 amps. And you can see that means we're going to be using this equation right here, I equals Q over T. And we have 2 grams of magnesium. Okay, so how are we going to go about doing this question? Well, again, take it step by step. That's the easiest way to do it. Do what you know how to do. So we have 2 grams of magnesium, which means if we're in grams, we always divide by the molar mass. 24.3 grams per mole is magnesium which is going to give me 0 0.0823 moles of magnesium. You can see there's three significant digits everywhere, so I'm just going to keep rounding everything to three significant digits. So I started with the grams and I went the moles. Always put your units and what it's assigned to because that's going to help you to go and, and kind of logically get through what you're going to get through. Okay. So now we want to take a look at, we have moles of magnesium, and this, re, this equation is dealing with electrons. You can see what I just uh, underlined there. It's dealing with electrons. So I need to go to my reaction. You can see this reaction right here, one mole of magnesium for every two moles of electrons. So one mole of magnesium for every two moles of electrons. Now, a lot of teachers will teach their students to do this um, with dimensional analysis. 
I like doing everything logically. And so 0.0823 moles of magnesium for every 1 to 2, 1 to 2, that's 0.1646 moles of electrons. And I believe they probably gave you a point for finding the moles of electrons. Okay, So you can see, what am I doing here? I'm just taking it step by step. I went from grams of magnesium to moles of magnesium, from moles of magnesium to moles of electrons. And that's where I am right now. Now, I have a very, very, very important number here. You can see right here, Faraday's constant. This is how many coulombs for every one mole of electrons. So I have 96485 coulombs for every one mole of electrons. Can you see? I am just doing ratios here. Okay? 96485 coulombs for every one mole of electrons. Which means I, I could have put the moles of electrons over here and did cross multiplying. I'm just doing ratios. What do I know is I know my moles of electrons. I know I have 0.1646 moles of electrons, which means I can do cross multiplying and I end up getting 15882 coulombs. Okay, 15882 coulombs. I'm move I'm moving ahead. I've gone from grams of magnesium to moles of magnesium, moles of magnesium to moles of electrons, moles of electrons into coulombs because that was the ratio that they gave me. Now I have the coulombs. That's my Q in this equation right here. That's my Q in this equation. I have my I, which means I can know what T is. I is equal to Q over T. I have 5.00 amps, and that's equal to 15882 coulombs for every bit of time. Now, if you're ever trying to find this number on the denominator, do a swip swap. Multiply the time out, divide by the 5 amps. So time is equal to 15882 coulombs for every 5.00 amps, and that ends up giving me uh, 3176.5 seconds. 3176.5 seconds. If I round the three significant digits, 31080 seconds. And so that is how much time it would take in seconds in order to, and that's what we wanted, how many seconds. And so that is, uh, it, with these electrochem problems, they're either going to have you go from grams to time or to amps or something like that, or they give you time in amps, you find coulombs, you go from coulombs to moles of electrons, moles of electrons to moles of a substance, moles of a substance to grams, you're going to either go forwards or backwards in these types of problems. Hope that helped. That is the 2021 AP Chemistry Free Response number five.